All right, in this lecture, we're going to talk about computer mathematics. So, as humans, we like to count in base 10. We count in what's called decimal. We go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and when we run out of digits there, we put a 1 in front of it and become 10. So it becomes 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, et cetera, all the way up. Um, when we get to 20, we'll do 20, 21, 22, et cetera. Computers and networks don't natively understand decimal numbers, though. They do everything in binary. They count by ones and zeros. Is it on or is it off? They process numbers using what we call binary or base 2 numbering. So for them, they go, if they wanted to count to 4, it wouldn't be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It would be 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and they keep going that way. We just keep adding a number to the left and, add, and keep going. So we have to understand how to convert numbers from binary to decimal and decimal to binary. And so the way I like to do this is I like to use this table. And basically it's powers of 2. So 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1st is 2, 2 to the 2nd is 4, 2 to the 3rd is 8, 2 to the 4th is 16, 2 to the 5th is 32, 2 to the 6th is 64, and 2 to the 7th is 128. That's where I get my powers of 2 from right to left. Uh, and what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to write my numbers in binary in this chart, and then I can just add the digits that we have to get us our decimal number. So for instance, if I wanted to convert 1001010110 from binary to decimal, the way I would do that is every column that has a 1 in it, I'm going to add that column. So in our case, it would be 128 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2. So in this case, we get 128 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 equals 150. So if I give you the binary number of 1001010110, that means it's 150 in human base 10 language. Now, if I wanted to go from decimal to binary, it's a little bit more difficult, but we still use the same table. If we want to convert 167, for instance, what we're going to do is we're first going to say, starting from left to right, what is the biggest number that will go into 167? Well, if we have 167, we can take out 128. So here, we're going to take 167 minus 128 is 39, and I put a 1 in the 128 column. Then I go, can I take 64 from 39? And the answer is no. So I put a 0 in that column. Can I take 32 from 39? Yes, I can. So I'll put a 1 in that column and take away 32, giving me 7. Can 16 come from 7? No, so it's a 0. Can 8 come from 7? No, so it's a 0. Can 4 go into 7? Yes, so we put a 1 there, and that leaves us with 3. Can 2 go into 3? Yes, so I'll put a 1 there. That leaves us with 1. Can 1 go into 1? Yes, and I get a 1, leaving me with 0 at the end. So that means I did it correctly. So my answer would be, 1010011 which equals 167. And that's the simple way to go from binary to decimal and decimal to binary. So to check our answer, we're going to just add up all the columns we put a 1 in. And so in this case we get 128 plus 32 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 which equals 167. Since 167 was in both places, that worked and we got the correct answer. So, what we're going to do here is we are going to convert 01101011 to decimal. So go ahead and try that out. So our first step is we're going to fill in the chart based on the numbers we have. So we put 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 in the chart. And now we're going to add up all the columns with the 1 in it. So 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 equals 107. You got 107, you did it right. Next one we're going to try. Let's try 10010100 to decimal. We're going to do the exact same thing, right? So in this one, we should have 100 we're going to add up 128, 16, and 4, which should give us 148. Okay. So now, if we want to go from decimal to binary, we need to do it with subtraction. So if we have 49, we're going to start by going, can 128 go into 49? No. Zero. Can 64 go into 49? No. Zero. Can 32 go into 49? Yes. So we'll take it out. That gives us 17 left. Can 16 go into 17? can one time, so we'll take the one out. Uh, at that point, we have one left. Eight can't go into one, so it's zero. 
four can't go into one, so it's zero. Two can't go into one, so it's zero. One goes into one, so we get one. So our answer becomes zero, zero, one, one, zero, 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 one. And that's the basics of our computer math.